Well, hello YouTube. Found something. <clears throat> Just thought I'd show this off. Um, you know, another one of my hobbies is going through my old stuff and trying to find stuff that I can get rid of. And this is uh, a good example of that. It's an old answering machine. Duophone from Radio Shack. And this, let's see, according to the label, it was uh, manufactured in 1982. And this, uh, it actually doesn't have any electronics in it, as far as I know. It's all electric and mechanical with gears and pulleys in there. But it's, uh, it uses two tapes, like full size cassette tapes, not the little mini cassettes. This is the outgoing message. This is a 20 second tape that's looped. And it has a little piece of metal on the tape, so when this starts, it'll rotate, go through 20 seconds, and then the metal triggers the player to stop playing it. Then when the next message comes in, it'll start playing at that point, because it's on a loop. It's not, it never has to rewind. And this is just a standard tape for messages. It has the uh, instructions here. Let's see, volume two or record, so you can uh, record a conversation on the phone. Uh, fast forward, erase. Let's see, it's for playing back, rewinding. Oh, and you switch it over here and hit start. For record announcement, it's got a mic on it, so you can, uh, you know, just speak into it to record your outgoing message. It's the electrical connection, and this plugs into the phone line. And actually, there's no pass-through for the phone, so I guess you have to have two phone jacks, one for your phone and one for the answering machine. It's got a counter and lights to show you when there's a call waiting or a, a message and you can set the recording time for the recorded messages for 30 seconds or 3 minutes I have it switched over here for 3 minutes and ooh simulated rosewood grain finish it's a sticker but it looks like wood very fancy I used this probably around 10 years after it was made in the early 90s and when I originally got it it was broken I got it for free because it was broken um, I remember taking it apart and finding out what was wrong with it I think there was like a, a belt that had fallen off a pulley or something like that I put it back together and it worked so I actually used it as an answering machine for a while but I thought it might be fun to plug it in and see if there's any messages on here see what my outgoing message was back in uh, back in the mid 90's what like uh, it was like 18 years ago okay. okay this is my announcement it's Bob Casper at 884-9903 I'm not in right now so after the beep please leave me a message and let me know when and why you call. Thanks. Hi, it's Bob Cast. Okay, yeah, that was me uh, back in the day. All right. That's answer. So if it's set there and a call comes in, it'll start recording. Yeah, gotta give me a call. Hopefully. Oh, let me rewind it. Let me see what messages are still on here from back then. Well, I played back the tape and there's no messages on it. Um, oh, and there's also a switch here, answer switch, switch between delay and immediate. I'm not sure, I don't, actually don't know what that does. Maybe if it's immediate, then it, you don't, the person calling doesn't hear the phone ring. One sort of 
weird thing about this is um, these uh, tape cassettes normally have uh, a lead tape like uh, like this one you see there's a little bit of plastic tape and after that goes through then there's the magnetic tape and you can't use this sort of ta uh, cassette with this machine because it, uh, on the message tape it starts recording immediately so um, I actually had to take this apart and remove the lead uh, so that it's you know it's all magnetic otherwise your first message is missing the first like, 10 seconds or so and this let's see has a fast forward button when you're playing back you can push that and it goes a little bit faster um, oh erase now you don't have to erase your messages on this because uh, you know, if you rewind it to the beginning and then uh, take some new messages, it'll just record over them. But you can actually erase to uh, to actually get rid of the uh, whatever's on the tape. To do that, you just uh, hold the switch like this while it's playing back. And I think I'm sure you can't see that, but what it actually does is it holds a little magnet up to the tape as it rotates as it goes through the spindle. Brutal but effective. Um, so that's it. I mean, I have no use for this. I don't have a landline anymore. Um, so I'm, I'm, I've been holding on to this for, you know, since the mid-90s. For some reason, uh, <laughs> I'm going to get rid of it. I don't think I'll bother doing putting it on eBay. Probably just I know there's a church there's a local church here that does a once a year white sale sort of thing so I'll just give it to them I just want to make a video to document it so I think it's kind of cool in a retro sort of way anyway that's it thanks for watching.